Ikovanen, everyone. It is October 20th, 2022. Um, I wanted to make this video because I wanted to shout uh, someone out, but I'm also going to shout uh, another person out. Um, you know, I thought I was gonna take a, you know, a break from YouTube. Um, and I, I put up a, uh, community post uh, talking more about that so there's no need repeating myself and that you know um, I think it would it's more of like it it may slow down you know um, I have good people that uh, kind of help me out with that so I'm I'm not I'm not alone in dealing you know with this so um, you know just just so you guys know um, and there's no need to you know go into specifics or into details it's you know very personal uh stuff and um like i said i, I want to keep uh this channel all about you know the movies and all about the let's plays and the reactions and stuff like that uh keep things you know good and positive and everything um okay so now that that's aside this is a game called Caves of Quad, and it's a first impression video. This was very, very kindly gifted to me by my new friend, Transient Complex. That's his channel name. I don't know if he wants his real name to be known, so I'm not going to say it, but his channel name is Transient Complex, and he's also one of our newer additions to uh, the Discord uh, group that you know I am a part of. Um, he's a really, really great guy. I mean, he, you know, we were chatting a bit over the Discord, you know, talking about this. And, um, <clears throat> you know, he asked me if I liked uh, roguelikes, and I told him that I did. And he mentioned this game. So I had to look it up. And uh, to sum it all up, uh, this game has been described. What happened to the sound? Oh well, um, has been described as the Morrowind of roguelikes, and that is, you know, that says a lot about what kind of roguelike this is, and the fact that this has, you know, music. Let's see if I can get it to start up again. Well, I don't know. Well, anyways, it doesn't matter. You heard it. Um, the fact that, you know, it had music and sound effects, um, is very surprising to me. I'm, you know, I'm pleasantly surprised to see that, because uh, when you see these graphics, you know, the graphics look very much like the game Brogue, which you've seen me play before. Very, very, uh, generic, um, you know, early 80s, you know, computer graphics, like Apple and Commodore kind of graphics, right? So you don't expect music like this. So it it kind of throws you off a bit because even by looking at this menu screen, it looks like something, you know, out of the, the, the early age of computer gaming. But yet the music, and I'm going to guess the sound, uh, does not reflect that. It looks like there's a lot of um, imagery through... Uh, you know, description that you have to read uh, when you play the game. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. So guys, I mean, um, he just, he kindly gifted it to me. Uh, Transient Complex is his channel name. So I, I want to implore all of you guys to please head on over to his channel and show him some love. He is new to YouTube and, you know, he, he deserves your, you know, your subscription I don't know if that's how you would phrase that. He he deserves your subscription. Because um, when I say that, it makes me sound like, like you know, when you say that, it's it's like uh, subscribing, you know, your, your magazine subscription or something. But um, I hope I phrase that correctly. In other words, he, he deserves to, to have your support and, and your sub. I mean, he's just a great guy. He only has one video out right now, at least at the time of this video here. And um, <clears throat> I believe he 
mentioned that he plans to do more quite possibly let's play videos so do check him out guys and thank you thank you so much Transier, for this very generous and kindly gift of caves of kud right uh the other person i wanted to shout out is someone he's one of the you know like i said i have a group of people that help me out when i you know i get i get depressed and stuff like that and this gentleman is is one of them um, and his name is Todd E. Walnuts. Um, you know, I just got done talking with him a little bit, uh, a, a little while ago, and I was supposed to go live, you know, because he kind of, uh, requested if that was going to happen, and, you know, he would, he would be, uh, down for something, but then he started to get tired, so, um, so that's not going to happen, but I told him, well, since I was kind of prepared, you know, to make something, I thought that I would go ahead and do this game, which I think this was the game I intended to live stream anyways, to kind of kill two birds with one stone, get this first impression video out, uh, and to give thanks to Transient for kindly gifting this to me. Uh, and then also uh, to thank Todd, you know, for, you know, his support and everything he's done for me and helping me out and, and kind of, uh, you know, just helping me, I'll say. So, um, so guys, you know, Todd's gaming channel is surviving the horror, and even though his subscriber count is going up, um, I'm, I'm really hoping that you guys would still support him even further. So, you know, my subscribers, you know, who have recently, you know, uh, subscribed to my channel, um, and don't know who Todd is and his... Uh, gaming channel surviving the horror you know if you guys could please head on over to his channel as well and show him support because he's just a great great guy and someone I've known uh, for a decade and one of the people that that uh, one of my most trustworthy people that I know um, and like I said there's a small group of people that that I I, I trust uh, in all this and, and he is one of them so um, Okay, so I guess we shall begin. I guess I'll be drinking my hot cocoa and mixing some fireball in there. I have to get more beer and stuff tomorrow. Okay. Maybe even buy a, a 10 pack of this. It's only a little bit left of my hot chocolate, but it mixes nicely. Okay, um, redeem code. I know nothing of this game, but let's go ahead and do it. Uh, permadeath, lose your character when you die, roleplay, checkpointing at settlement, wander. Most creatures begin neutral to you, no XP for killing. Uh, more XP for discoveries and performing the water ritual, checkpointing at settlements daily, one chance with a fixed character and world seed, currently in day, okay, 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 I guess I will go with roleplay, checkpointing at settlements, that sounds good. I can create a character from the build library. Okay, uh, I will go with that. Mutations, mutations, moderate starting attributes, minus or negative 600 reputation with the Putus Templar, true kin, high starting attributes, access to cybernetics, 20 bonus skill points each level, bonus resistance based on uh, Arcology of Origin may rebuke robots. Uh, like I said, you know, I don't know any of this, so let's go with that. An apostate, okay, any kind of mage. A water merchant. Arcanaut, an apostle, a 
I mean, a scholar seems like it's the closest thing to a mage, but it doesn't seem like I have a lot of uh, <clears throat> offensive spells with that class. Interesting. Maybe I'll go with a gunslinger, right? Let's go with gunslinger. Much like... Um, <clears throat> what was it called? The Dark Tower, right? Starring uh, Idris Elba. It's uh, based on the Stephen King book. Chimera. You only manifest physical mutations and all of your mutation choices when manifesting a new mutation are physical. Um... time you buy this but the mutations don't manifest right away whenever you gain a level there's a 33% chance that your genome destabilizes and you get a choice from three random mutations okay 12 points okay this sounds interesting You know, this is just a first impression video, so oh, it goes by the die system very nice. 1D, 4, plus 1, 4 sided die. Uh, oh, interesting. Oh. Oh, it takes up... Okay, this takes up three. I, I understand. This takes up five. I have four left. Oh, so I can't. Let's have night vision. Okay, so it looks like, you know, I have a, a shield ability, some night vision for traveling, and my main damaging ability, so it seems, you know, rather balanced. I have 44 points. Um... Range, both melee and range. Your ability to haggle with merchants and your ability to dominate the will. Okay, okay. Um, want to have okay that's good then focus mostly on that and then the rest here just kind of distribute that evenly there we go I'm quite happy with that Japa, salt marsh, salt dunes. Oh, very nice. Japa, recommended for new players. Yeah, let's let's do it. Oh, I love it. In all these things you may with us partake, but take heed, for ours are idle lives, and you may soon grow weary of them, the new. See, 
I love this. This description and stuff, having to read it, uh, it really lets your imagination run wild, which I love. Ye embark for the caves of Kud. On the third of Uru Ux, you arrive at the oasis hamlet of Japa, along the far rim of Mogari, the great salt desert. All around you, moisture farms tend to groves of viridian water vine. There are huts wrought from rock salt and brine stock. On the horizon, Kud's jungles strangle chrome steeples and rusted archways to the earth. Further and beyond, the fabled spindle rises above the fray and pierces the cloud ribbon sky. I love it. Can I click for more information on these? I cannot. See, very rudimentary graphics, but it doesn't matter. You know, you, you see it all through this description. You know, and I have to say, the game that I got free, you know, the... Um, was it the last, uh, <clears throat> so not, not the last game, not, uh, you know, that I live streamed, which was, uh, Fallout 76, but the one before that was a great disappointment, uh, Gloomhaven, um, I should delete that, but maybe I'll just play it off camera just to see if I can get the hang of it, but it was just absolutely something I was not expecting at all, and, at the time, I uh, didn't realize it was uh, based off of, um, you know, some some board game. But, you know, roguelikes, I know, you know, I'm familiar with that. Press up for help. Oh, look to the north, Journey. Okay. Um... Ten things you should do when you start to play attributes. Uh, oh. Yeah, okay. That stuff I know. <clears throat> Gifted to the denizens of Kud, true kin from the outer arcologies do not possess mutations. Physical and mental. You know, it's, I guess this is almost like uh, like a Fallout game, right? It has that kind of uh, look in the font, like the way it would maybe appear on your Pip Boy, but um, <clears throat> not small. As it, it's when you're looking at it, you're looking at it through a you know your first person perspective. You know, that's existing in the game world looking looking at your pip boy um, but this is actually what's on screen <coughs> okay you know I don't want to read all of this right now I just want to get to it It's you, physical features, icy vapor, equipped woven tunic, wide brim hat, lit torch, chrome revolver. Okay. And what is that? A zealot of the six day silt, wanderer, orphan of the salt. Hear me, I thought maybe there's a way I can just get information on him without having to go to him, but uh, to the north <coughs> and the west through the great salt desert, the six day stilt sp splits the earth in two. Seek there the grandeur of Shekinah, first among fathers. Release yourself from the burden that chrome bears on your sickly flesh. Go now. Wait. <coughs> what waits for me there? Let's trade. You intrigue me. I will make the journey and see the six days stilt for myself. Um, soothsayer. This one. Live and drink, friend. Well, let's trade. 
<clears throat> oh, I have 32. I like this. You know, this is almost like, um, there was this, uh, old, uh, um, role-playing game, pen and paper, you know, that I played in, in the late, um, 80s early 90s and not even sure you know we were playing it right but it was called heroes unlimited it's put out by i think palladium palladium was the company uh it's called heroes unlimited and um it just kind of reminds me of you know how the detail <coughs> the game goes into like when you're buying stuff there's actually even a list of uh you know the, the 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 ammo and stuff like that that you could get, um, and there's spin-off books like Ninjas and Super Spies and TMNT and stuff like that, and you can make uh, uh, I forgot uh, all the names, but uh, you can be just a human that's you know that uses gear, you know, like a, a ninja or like a soldier. Or your hero can be, or so your hero can be something like a Punisher, right? Or like an Iron Man, or someone who actually has powers and mutations, like like alter physical form, fire, you know, stuff like that. Lead slug. Um, empty water skin. understand how to navigate this. Oh, is this my inventory? The salad has that, okay. No, 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 okay, this is mine. I have no interest in selling it. You have received a new quest. Oh, glorious Shakena. Just want to. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, see, good, good. I right click. Um, Mehmet, years of the desert have taken their toll on his body, but he commands your ear with his voice, like few other men, and you wonder what sovereignty he might have come to were he not born a moisture farmer. Loved by the villagers of Joppa, admired by succulents for penning a moving poem, disliked by the zanisins of the Yid freehold for burning one of their leaders in effigy. Equipped, and this is what he's using. Okay. <clears throat> Water vine farmer, tatters of a sweet stained kafaya thrash in the wind from where they hang above the farmer's neck. Clasped in his gnarled brown hand is a carved vine reaper of iron with which he calls moisture swollen wafers from the viridian planet called water vine. Average, okay. Uh, these are just all farmers here. Uh, What kind of mini-map is that? It's not a mini-map. OK, 
Okay, so I need to get an idea if this is like a town a woven basket. There's nothing in that. Would you like to store an item? Oh. Oh. A simple chest made from dried brainstone. Can I go to it and open it? No. Floor cushion. I love it. I love it. So my quest Of course, you know. It's just too bad it didn't really tell me. I just had to make a logical um, guess. Make a pilgrimage to the six day stilt. Journey to the far northwest through the great salt desert and visit the Mechan Mechanimist Cathedral and Merchant Bazaar. Northwest. Well, okay. Sign that reads, go away. Are you just, okay, you're just a farmer. A sign. Okay. Six days. Through the great salt desert. Holy crap, what is that? Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. You're hungry. Make a campfire to cook. Press A, choose make camp, then interact with the campfire. Understood. You've lost to gain your bearings by exploring your surroundings. Um, oh, I'm going to have to fight these. Right. Um, are they going to want to attack me? No, I can trade with it. Okay. Oh, they're not bad. Can I camp? <sighs> You're lost. Maybe he can give me directions. You ask about your location and are no longer lost. Hey, 
good. Taco Suprema. Bark armor. Is this the arm I'm wearing right now? Oh, here we go. Oh, make camp. You can't cook on the world map, no? How, how can I, uh... Okay, here we go. Select a direction. What do you mean? Oh. Okay, whip up a meal. The fire breathes its warmth on your bones. Listen to that. That is great. You gather some fixings, a cordial corroded circuit board, a seed spitting vine sensory nod nodule, and some exquisite uri. You toss them in a pot and stir. What? You eat the meal. This is what I'm eating? Computer components. <clears throat> okay. Okay, it looks like I don't have to, uh, you know, get rid of that. You notice some runes nearby. Would you like to investigate? No. What is this stuff? Sand dunes. The ivory seas dunes are like waves frozen in place there are cracks in the salt from where the earth blistered by the jeweled sun contracted and broke the horizon melts the sky together with the vast plain of magarye the great salt desert let's go through it yes You have finished the step. Make a pilgrimage to the six-day stilt of the quest. Oh, glorious Shakina. You gain 1,500 XP. This, this is wonderful. Wow. You have gained a level. You are now level two. Yeah, this, this is a fun romp. You know, this is what I'm talking about. This is maybe something I was expecting out of Gloomhaven, and I didn't get it. Uh, you gain two hit points. You gain 50 skill points. You gain one mutation point. You gained a level. Level three. I gained another one. And another one. You have completed the quest. I'm up to level five already. And I unlocked an achievement. This is great stuff. Okay, it doesn't get any better than this, guys. Um... Who are you? Can Mechanimist Pilgrim. The Pilgrim wears a costume of humility. Simple frock, wide brimmed hat, cerulean scarf, slouched back, and weary eyes. Okay. I am going to end it here. This is just a first impression video, so you got an idea a little bit of what it's like when you're um, like zoomed in to the map, like whether you're into the, the town or a more, um, you know, a more uh, in-depth look of your surroundings. It, it zooms in like that from the world map uh, and then it zooms back out into the main, you know, world map. So the local map, it goes into a local map. That's, that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, I guess very much like in um, Marwind, how you can change between local and world map, right? Uh, so you had a, a look at that, what it's like to interact with the people and trade, and to take a quest and go forth, forth and journey, um, and uh, yeah, go forth and journey, and um, um, you know, set up camp, cook up a, a meal. 
and journey the rest of the way and complete a quest. And I think, uh, you know, that's basically the idea. You know, I'm sure there's a lot more to this, but uh, we don't have to delve into that right now. I may, uh, I will come back to this game eventually, but I just have so much more that I'm doing. But uh, I do want to get back to this one. And, um, yeah, I want to, I, I love this game already. First impressions about this game are extremely good. I love it. I'm hungry. Um, oh, it's something different this time. Rummaging over your surroundings, you find these ingredients. So I'm using things I find within the area. I love it. A Dawn Glider Egg, a pinch of berries, sesame seed, ounce of corroded circuit board. Why am I eating a circuit board? You eat the meal. And now I'm sated. You see how simple and fun this is? So I am going to end it. And I see that there is a save and quit, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to say right now, I hope you all enjoyed. And again, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, transient. Hold on. Um, transient Complex. Yeah. Uh, please head on over to his channel. I'm going to link his channel, you know, down in the description box. And thank you again, Todd, you know, for, you know, just uh, everything and just, you know, being there. And, you know, same goes to my little group that I'm a part of. You know, they, they you know, whenever I'm in need, they're, they're good about talking to me about that. And I'm always there for them if ever they need me. So, um, yeah, that is it. Again, it is October 20th, 2022. Hope you all enjoyed and see you.